Why? I'll start the video. We are starting the video. Really? It's already on? Wave, say hi. Hi, welcome to the Iron Triangle Garage. <laughs> Here, we're going to do hot rodding on a budget, right? Yeah? My dad works with wood, but he also likes to build cars. I like to build cars. I like, like to build hot rods. He likes to do a lot of stuff with cars. Once he took apart an engine and put it back, remember? I've done a lot of that. Yep. So on this channel, we're going to do a lot of stuff you can do in a two-car garage, urban hot rodding, where, you know, basic tools. I got my nice little, my garage here set up with my, my tools. And, and, I never, and I even got my own tools. So I'm already working on building back a skateboard. He's working on a skateboard. This is October. Oh. I am Wes. Oh. We'll see a lot of this guy here. We do motorcycles. We do mostly cars. We got, what do we have? We have the mini rat rod. Uh, yep, and we got my, um. Your Jeep. My Jeep, my little boy Jeep. We've got a 66 El Camino. Which is out there, which is amazing. And right now. the first thing we're going to see on this channel will be the 2006 Chevrolet Silverado, the dad rod. It is a crew cab, 2006, I think I said that, 5.3 liter, LM7 LS1, 4L60, still works. Knock on wood. I think. So soon we'll, we'll get a tour of that truck and I'll show you all of the good and the bad. Um, it's got about 150,000 miles on it. It's it's a great truck. It's my daily driver, and I wanted to. Uh, it's time time to give it some love. Really, this is it. Well, we gotta do. We're gonna do the tour of the truck soon. Tomorrow? I don't know. Maybe. I don't want to tomorrow. Well, it's raining outside. We can't really do it today. So we can just try. Nope. Can we at least do something in here with the video? We are doing the video right now. We're doing the introduction. I, I this is our first it. one. Okay, we're outside. Rain finally stopped. Got sunshine. Beautiful day, about 65 degrees. Out here in the Franklin Canyon, so we can get a good look at the truck on the outside. We haven't got to look at the outside yet, so let's do that. Okay. Here it is. The 06 Chevy. As you can see... Colors there, clear coat is not. Got this action going on here. Ooh. There's a. As well, you can see, it's, I mean, it's in, body wise, it's in really good shape. So, the outside, as you can see, it isn't, isn't that bad. No, it's, let's talk about the inside. I just, right above, the, the only bad spots right above the driver. And it's like, you know, Jack Sparrow's pants, just baggy, just hanging down, billowing it everywhere. Right above the, there we go. Hey, ha, hee. That's a really bad spot. Other stuff is these door panels. The door cards are just, I mean, what? 
What happened there? Other one's the same way. This steering wheel is like slick. The leather's all like slick, dirty and gross. Ugh. Carpet's good. I think these, I mean, there's no tears in the seats. It just needs a good cleaning in here. This wrong color. Let me take you around the uh, the inside here. You can see here the seats. Seats are really good. Really nice. Of course, that is the passenger seat. Center console. Replace that. No. And then these door panels. It's hard to tell if this angle but they don't match the rear ones at all the back ones are you see i got my little kiddos stuff all up in here see the headliner right there Ooh. oh oh it's just yeah I got, you know, butyl. Mm -hmm. Professional fix. Little, what's that? I steam clean the carpets. Oil changing rag. Something to think about, huh? Let's just cruise for a minute. Brakes work good, still. Factory brakes. I mean, I'm sure they've been changed, but there's no uh, no performance upgrades on the brakes. I like to put slotted rotors on it. I think that always helps. Some better pads. Oh, oh, G8, G8. Did you hear it? Right into the sun. Right into the ball of fire. Here we go. Set the Tesla. Come on, you know. Cruising at a solid seventy right now. She just man, she runs good. She runs really good. Believe it or not. This dude gets 22 miles to the gallon. Big old heavy truck, four door truck, 22 miles to the gallon. I couldn't be more impressed with uh, the LS platform. And the GMT 800 is just a, it's a great, a great pickup platform. I, uh, the GMT 400 was a really nice truck before this. And then there's, you know, there's my favorite, the square bodies, which are like unobtainium these days. But yeah, for, for an affordable pickup truck, these are, these are good. This is pre, this is pre VVT. Um, so it's just pure hot rod motor. I know you can upgrade 
the VBT motors and, and cancel out the VBT and cam and timing set and all that. But for just a pure fun LS, tough iron block LS, these are great. And if you can find one with an LM4, that's even better. That's the all aluminum 5.3. Or, you know, there's the L33 with the all aluminum uh, performance 5.3. Good luck finding those. Those are those are pretty hard to get a hold of. It came in the O, I think, O3 to O5, O6. GMC and Chevys. You can find them in the little Saab SUV that's LA, LS based and the GMC Envoy big one find those LS's in that that stuff but you gotta you got, you got, you got know what you're looking for there and um, but yeah they did come in the in the Sierras and the Silverados um, I can't remember the VIN code but we'll have to look that up maybe type it into the video Hello. Okay. Oh, old bones. Good afternoon. Welcome back to the shop. We started here. We'll end this video here. Let's talk about the Silverado. Do we save the Silverado? Yes. Yes, we do. I'll tell you why. Have you seen the prices of new trucks? Even used trucks right now? No. Nope. Not okay. That's just nope. And you know what? We just bought my wife a brand new GMC, so I think I'm going to just have to hang on to the old Silverado. The Silverado, it's, you've seen it, I showed it to you, it's rough, she's rough, but she runs really good, really, really good. So, that being said, on my birthday, my wife says, you know what, we've had a good year, we did okay. Let's get the truck painted. Sold. Let's do it. So we'll look at my project, 20 gauge. Yeah, yeah, 20 gauge. Well, I broke my pen, that's nice. We'll see if I can get that back real quick. Hey. Just, uh, just a minute, Mike. I, uh, <clears throat> okay, so let's start with the, uh, we'll call it um, paint and body. You saw that she's not rusty at all. Of course, you know, it's, it's dry here, so it doesn't, things don't rust. And for being 16 years old, 17 years old. Yup. 17 years old. Not beat. Not beat at all. I've had it for six years. And when I got it, it was chef's kiss. It was nice. Shiny. Clean. Inside was good. Probably driven by an old man. And he traded it in on a new one. I got it off of a, a, a new car dealership in their used car lot because the guy said, no, we don't, we don't send the pickups away. We don't send them off to auction. Those sell well, really well. We keep those around, we clean them up, service them, and let people enjoy them. We don't send them to the, to the cattle, cattle auction. We keep them. I said, great. 
I put some miles on her in that time. She's got 182 on it now. She's beat inside, kids. Kids. So we're gonna we're gonna make it awesome. We're gonna make it awesome. Paint and body. We're gonna get the body all straightened out. We're gonna paint her. It's got one good ding. I did buy. I did buy a cab corner for it. Just in case I need it. I don't think I'll need it, but the truck right now, this whole area right here, is crushed. I hit a pole. Didn't get into the bed, but just got this, and I got a little bit of the door, so it's kind of like eh, crush crush right there in case i need that i have it i hopefully i don't need it but it's there if i need it paint and body get that squared away don't get to see the color yet i'll show you the color soon i think i want to lower it this time i've never done that so this i had a little s10 blazer that i just made level i didn't lower it but i made it level it was a two-wheel drive and it was up high. And those come pretty high from the factory, so I just kind of made it normal height. I didn't ever slam it or nothing. But I think I want to put this one kind of down. I want it down. I want it. I want something different. I haven't had that yet. So I think we're gonna lower it. Now here's the question: Do I go two and four, or do I go four and six? For this, if I do this, we're gonna see notch. We have to see notch again never done that oh, i kind of want to do that too i've never done it i kind of want to do that oh back up to here real quick let's it was it was back it up here we're going to need an ss bumper never loved the cat eye but you put an ss bumper on them they look they look decent then so ss bumper new headlights turn signals tail lights are good i put new tail lights in it i didn't like them dodge ram style pimple lights i don't like those i got rid of them um for some smooth earlier style ones without the orange turn signal just all red those look sweet Fast forward again to this. Wheels and tires. I lost my, my sign. I lost my prop. Where's the prop department? You're fired. You're fired! Wheels and tires. If we're going to lower it, I uh, can't keep those stalker 06 aluminum wheels they're so so anyway um they're you know factory goofy i mean they're not the worst looking ones but they aren't that great either i'll put a picture up so you can see it. us wheel 65s Seventeen inch or eighteen inch. So I keep losing my sign. Prop department, I swear. You're looking maybe you look silly right now. I'm the prop department. I mean I don't, you know, by myself. And then tires. I don't what kind of tires would look good on a truck like this? lowered black wheels poverty caps wheels poverty caps i'm gonna put like the old school you know t10 style poverty caps on it do i go with the go with the koopas the cooper cobras do i go with the cooper cobras do i go with the bfgtas do i go all black do i go with like a red line oh Ooh, that could look cool. 
Mm. Mm. Let me know what you think. Just kind of, you know, comment. These wheels would look cool, Wes. Thanks. Thanks, man. Got to do an exhaust. Have to. Right? Got to do it. I've never done an exhaust on these, this truck. Always wanted to. Let's not let the prop department look like a fool this time. Exhaust. That's a big yes. That's definitely happening. All these other things are kind of, you know, this is happening and this is happening for sure. These other things, 90% happening. These are happening. No, let's be honest. This is all happening. Do I go flow master? Prop department. American Thunder. American Thunder. Do I go Magna Flow? There's some other ones out there. What do you think? You know, they're all roughly the same price. I've always been a Flowmaster guy. My El Camino's got, well, actually, the El Camino's got glass packs on it now. They had Flowmasters on it before. My K5s have all had Flowmasters on them. My Suburban had Flowmasters on it. Um, it's a pretty good list. Pretty good little list. Oh, and we're not done. You know what we got to do still? <laughs> Where we all hang out when we're in a car. The interior. Interior is shot. So, as you saw, saw in that video, the headliner is, you no know, bugging me when I got the window down. It's whipping on my head. Carpet's good. It just needs to be cleaned real well. No, no heavy staining, nothing like that. I tried to take care of it. Uh, door panels in the front. The door card, front door cards are no good. Maybe salvageable. Maybe. I'll put some like alcohol wipes and maybe some uh, duplicolor vinyl dye. Maybe. It's that buckskin color, so it's kind of hard to match. I put a new center console lid on it. Supposed to be that color, but it is nowhere near that color. Um, headliners aren't that bad. It is a crew cab. I've never done a crew cab headliner, so I don't know how you get that thing out of there without taking seats and doors and stuff off. But I imagine I can probably get it done. You got to pull all the trim around the windows and the A, B, and C pillar trims down. Which means you gotta take the seat belts out and the grab handles and the oblique handles all gotta come down. Center console up high has gotta come out. And let the wiring to do uh, but it needs to happen. So I can do that. I have done that several times. It's not that bad. It is the foam backer, so it's all molded. You just gotta pull the whole sheet down, clean it off real good. Put the I'm digressing. Here we go. So I gotta do the whole in Interior, just get it all steam cleaned and cleaned up and a new headliner in it and front doors. I'm going to upgrade like the charging system on the inside. No cigarette lighter. Nobody uses them anymore. So I'm going to put, you know, some USB. I'm not sure where it is, but I have a couple of those mount in the dash USB and mini USB cable ports. Stereo has already been upgraded. That was one of the first things I did when I got that truck because the stereo was completely blown out. The factory speakers were all destroyed, no good. So that's all done with. That's been done. Hey, look who joined us. He has a problem. After a couple of the putting the disc in now, only one episode, then I have to put in another disc. It's only one episode. So put in another disc. I know, but it's not pretty short. Maybe. Yeah, maybe that's all they had left on. Maybe they only had 
enough room for they only needed to put one more episode to finish out the season. He's watching Transformers, the old, the old Transformers. Yeah, the cartoon from the 80s. He's watching that. We got yeah. it on DVD and he's watching that. And now and, he's. And now I get to go to the third pack. Third season. Are you going to find a way to hang that up in my bedroom? In my bedroom? Yeah, I just got up there for right now. I just want to keep it out of the way. Okay. See ya. Watch your face. Toby, everybody. Okay. Right back. Where were we? So that's it. We're going to do, we're going to start here and work our way down this list. You know, one video, another video, another video. Maybe we'll link these two together. This will be its own video, and this one will definitely be its own video. So if you want to see this, please thumbs up. Do a guy a favor. Subscribe. Keep watching. I'm excited to do this. I want you guys to see. Mostly I want to you know, document the progress. See how it goes. Then we'll make one sweet, sweet silver. I mean, there's a million of those trucks out there. They're not exactly rare. They're not exactly hard to come by. You can buy one for nothing right now if you look hard enough. Well, this one was really clean when I got it. That's why I got it. It's super sweet. The wife, you know, she found it on, um, I don't know where she found it, actually. But she found it at a VW dealership down in South Bay. Okay, I think that's going to do it for this video, the first video. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Uh, I think we have a really good, solid plan for that Silverado. I have a lot more stuff lined up, um, including that these maybe this the Acadia gmc i'd like to put it down a little bit it's two-wheel drive make it sporty this has got a lot of stuff to do to it um i'm excited about that one because that one that one's been here a while that one's been kind of followed me around from place to place and i want to get it dialed yeah, that's that one. That one's gonna be fun, and these Harleys are gonna be. This one needs a clutch. That one I'm working on a dual exhaust for it, like custom made dual exhaust. And um, the next video, we're gonna tear into that truck. We're gonna rip stuff off of it. Trim. It's gonna come flying off. We're gonna have Toby dig into it, just rip stuff off of it, like you know, get some energy out. And um, start sanding on it, working on bodywork, and, and get it painted. Please come back, like, subscribe. If you want to ring the bell, do that. Um, we'll see you. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.